Uh, hello everyone, um, welcome to National Tax Service YouTube channel and this is KJ who will be introducing all about the year-end tax settlement today. And we have a guest here to help you guys out about the year-end tax settlement and uh, here she is, please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Soyeon from the International Tax Bureau of National Tax Services. Nice to meet you. So uh, let's just start now. and. Uh, well, for all Korean employees in uh, working in Korea, uh, it's very natural to uh, do the year-end settlement for mm -hmm. Korea. Right. But uh, does this year-end settlement apply to foreigners as well? Uh, no, a foreign employee who has had wage and salary in Korea in 2023 should settle year-end taxes as well as domestic employees. So who earned basically money in Korea mm -hmm. Yes, right. has to do the year-end settlement, right? That, that's correct. So I guess some of who are watching this video right now don't really have a basic concept of what year-end settlement is. So why don't you explain what this concept is? Uh, when you work for a company and receive monthly salary, the company deducts tax in advance and pays you the remaining amount of salary which process is called withholding. To explain about with, withholding, the company with, withhold taxes on advance and this sum of withholding taxes in one year does not match the total amount of final annual tax. So since tax withheld at the source is basically based on a different but simple calculation according to the tax law. So uh, the tax law applies like this. So you will see how this year in settlement is going to go on. Mm -hmm. And so basically, well, uh, you're going to uh, explain further about this, but basically the number you are deducted already mm -hmm. is not the exact tax year you're going to pay. Yes, right. It depends. Mm -hmm. so. so when the exact amount of tax to be paid at the end of year is calculated, tax authorities give a refund or charge the difference with the taxes withheld in that year. So it doesn't mean that like you get a refund every single year. It depends on like how this deduction and the exact amount of tax you have to pay, how it differs. So if you paid already too much, then mm -hmm. you get tax refund. Yes. But if you paid too less, mm -hmm. then you have to pay more. Yeah, pay more to the tax authority. So that's mm -hmm. the basic concept of year-end tax settlement. And uh, we just gave you the basic concept of year-end tax settlement. But uh, I think uh, giving some specific uh, examples with numbers will help you a lot, so why don't you explain? For example, if the withholding tax is 600,000 won and the final tax after tax credit is 500,000 won, then you have overpaid 100,000 won. So therefore, you can get a tax refund of 100,000 won through year-end tax settlement. Uh, so we know the basic concept now, mm -hmm. and so for foreign workers mm -hmm. who actually have to do this, how should they prepare for this year-end tax settlement? Oh, so to prepare the year-end tax settlement, the income deduction and tax credits should be reflected. Mm -hmm. So it is important to identify what income deduction and tax credit items can be applied to you. So you have to understand there are two key terms, mm -hmm. uh, which is income deduction yes. and tax credit. Mm -hmm, right. So uh, can you further explain? Okay. So once you've applied those deduction and tax credits applied to you, you should prepare the documents that certify deductible items. So if you have an authentication, foreigners can also use the online simplified service for provided by the NTS. So you can look up the provided data from the NTS and select the deduction items that apply to you and also submit the related documents to the company. For uh, foreign workers, mm -hmm. so are they capable of getting the same um, basically amount and type of income deduction and all the tax credits, like just like Korean mm -hmm. workers? Yes, if a foreign employee is a resident, general income deduction or tax credits are applied the same way as domestic employees. Oh, right. So it's basically the same. Right. So uh, the basically it applies the same, mm -hmm. but I guess there are some like specific differences between mm -hmm. like you are the national or you are the foreigner. So would there mm -hmm. be any? 
Oh yes, for example, there is income deduction for deposits for housing purchase savings mm. that applies only to the head of the household, does not apply to foreigners. Oh. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, if a foreign employee is a non-resident, most deduction items except for wage and salary income deduction and personal deduction, pension insurance expenses deduction do not apply. So uh, one of the biggest factors that you are basically um, a resident or you are not. So uh, can you tell the difference between the residential or non-residential mm -hmm. tax uh, difference? A domicile is determined by the objective facts of living relationship such as the existence of family living together in Korea and the location of property and or occupation. Oh, so basically uh, the government checks if mm -hmm. you are really, really doing everyday life in right. Korea or not yes. for a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. And then, then uh, what is this place of residence meaning? A place of residence means a place where a person lives for a long time besides one's domicile and where there's no general relationship as close as domicile. Also, a person who has an occupation which requires him or her to reside in Korea continuously for 183 days or more, or a person who has family members that likely to reside in Korea continuously for the same 183 days or more, in terms of one's occupation or assets held in Korea. So that kind of person is considered to be a resident having a domicile in Korea. It would be great if there are some tips to uh, take some handle about these tax issues mm -hmm. and, and maybe some like uh, doing further reductions for individual taxes. Would there be any some tips for uh, people who are watching this video? Oh, uh, well, there are actually there are many deduction items under the Income Tax Act. Mm -hmm. And since many foreigners have questions on that, let's take a look at the most frequently asked questions so right. you can solve the problems. Okay. <laughs> so we're going through uh, the FAQs okay. about income taxes that can be deducted. Mm -hmm. So then let's check out how these are going to be working. So uh, what is the most uh, frequently asked question about this? Okay, the first is about dependent family members. So since the dependent family members of resident foreign employees mostly live in their origin country instead of Korea, we get a lot of questions on whether foreigners can claim income deduction for their family or not. So basically, if you are living alone in Korea mm -hmm. and uh, doing work as a foreign worker, so they're basically asking if they can get the income deduction Action. for family members. Yes. So uh, mm -hmm. does that work or not? Uh, yeah, it can be work. Oh, it can be? It can be, yes. So uh, would there be any... Uh, so there will be some regulations whether it can be worked or it can't be worked. Right. So can you explain about this? Okay, so a foreign employee can receive only basic deduction of 1.5 million won for himself and for each of dependent family members. And even if a spouse or linear ascendants and descendants live in their own country, one can receive income deduction if certain conditions are met. Right, so uh, you just mentioned about some certain conditions. Mm -hmm. So to get this uh, deduction, basically, uh, what thing do you have to pass uh, to get this? So to get income deduction, the foreigner should submit documents that can prove family relationships and that their annual income is not exceed 1 million won. So basically you need some documentation to prove that you are basically a family of these people abroad mm -hmm. right. in, in view of South Korea mm -hmm. and there are some like income regulations mm -hmm. actually that applies to Koreans as well yes yeah, same so mm -hmm. basically it's not like um, because you're a foreigner you have to pay more it's not like this mm -hmm. everybody does the same thing in Korea it's, so you have to check about that it's a big question for Korean domestics as well like about um, children living abroad mm -hmm. and uh, 
paying a lot of like educational things to them and would that be able to be like deducted or not like mm -hmm. the, these like education related mm -hmm. is is very uh, important also in Korean households so if uh, a foreigner child or children reside in another country not mm -hmm. Korea then but still they will pay some money to like educational mm -hmm. reasons or something so would that those kind of like expenses related mm -hmm. to education mm -hmm. uh, which is being paid in another country yes. uh, though can those be uh, mm. deducted so education expenses spent for children in overseas education institute are not deductible not deductible not deductible but then how about like uh, being spent inside Korea? Uh, well, education expenses spent for attending a school institute established in Korea by the Elementary and Secondary Education Acts can be deducted. Oh, so those only can be deducted. Right. But other than that, it's not deductible. Yes. Well, there is a, a income deduction for credit card expenses, mm -hmm. also in uh, also for Koreans. Mm -hmm. So, would that be applicable to foreign workers as well? Oh uh, yes, but credit card expenses spent overseas are not deductible. So, if you spend money outside of Korea, outside those mm -hmm. amounts are not deductible. Right. But if you spend a certain amount of money in, in Korea, mm -hmm. then those are deductible. Yes. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, for this video, this is the part one for the whole campaign and this is it for this video. But we are going to explain about further and deeper information about national tax uh, you have to be dealing with. So please uh, stay tuned in this channel and please check another video as well. And thank you so much for giving all the information um, as a national tax service agent. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. And, uh, we explained very briefly about this uh, tax system. So if you are more curious about the deeper information or some further uh, ideas for yourself, please check out this site. Uh, it's going to be on um, the video as well. www.nts.go.kr slash English slash main dot do. This is the official English channel of National Tax Service. So please check out and next time we will be talking about the flat tax rate, mm -hmm. which is going to be applied uh, only to foreigners. So thanks for watching and we'll come back in the next video. Bye. Bye.